Welcome to my Corvair. We're gonna, you guys ready? Uh, there's the inside too, by the way. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Do what? Oh, feel the brakes? All right, hold on, let me feel the brakes. Oh yeah, they feel good. Feel really good. Yeah. You guys ready? It's just like uh, back in the back in the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, so close. Boo. All right, let me turn the engine. Keep it running with the pedal. Keep it running. Ah. With the gas pedal, yeah. I was. It just it died out. Yeah. You guys want to see the coolest thing about this? This is my gear shift. Like, I'm going to go into reverse right now. That's me in reverse. Ooh, that was fun. Eh? It's a Corvair Spider. You guys get it? No? Yeah? Corvair Spider? I thought it was really funny. All right, all you car buffs out there. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to get this camera hold held with the... Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Here's what happened. This is the starter disassembled. This right here is the cone that connects the solenoid to where the starter throws in. Bendix and everything, this throws forward and that starts your car. This is the internals of a motor, right? So that when you start your car, this spins and the solenoid throws that gear forward like, like that into the, the, the flywheel. This guy right here is what connects to the solenoid and throws that forward. See that hole right there? That's a pivot point. There's supposed to be a pin that goes through these holes right there and through that pivot point inside of there that wasn't there so that when this pulls down, this guy throws up. That pin wasn't there, so therefore the only thing that was throwing this up was the spinning of that motor would throw that out and it would barely touch the, the gears. It would, it would be in and out sort of. So we need to find a bolt that'll fit through there to hold this as a pivot point, and then it should be fixed. I don't, it's like zero part cost. Well, bad news, guys. We got the car back together, but it still is being funny. Still cranking funny. That was one of the problems with the starter, for sure. I think because it was like that, there's these two little fingers that go in and push the gear forward. I think those gear, those fingers are worn out. It takes so much to get that starter out though. Well darn tootin', I uh, that stinks. <laughs> I even went back in and I was like, wait a second, maybe it was this wrong with the starter and I went back in and I took the starter back out again without jacking it up this time, changed what I thought it was, took the, the longest time ever to put it back in, the hardest thing in the world, and then tried it out again, didn't work. Still the same problem, kind of grinds and it, it, it turns over then it grinds, turns over then it grinds. So it sounds like the shaft is warped, which stinks, but that's what it sounds like. So I think we're just getting a brand new starter. Shoot. Some jerk got Jen got flowers delivered to Jen at work. Punch that guy in his face. What do you guys think? Dirty hands, clean soul? They're actually cleaner than they were before. Look at all this though, from being underneath the car and reaching into tight places. Book time, book time. We're gonna read this book about the chicken being delicious. Please stop buying, my friends, if you're just going to slowly kill them. Because it's, you know how people buy house plants. All of my friends are followers. You see them? Up there? Because that was just a picture, I'll read you one more. Where are we going? That's it. Oh, this is a salad with hot sauce in it. This should, not hot sauce, but like salsa? Should be good and spicy at the same time. Yippee-ki-yay! I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.